few superstar content creators and their super fan teammates are racing to fill a giant pen with ink sprayed from an oversized squid. First team to fill their pen to the line wins $50 and takes control of the game. It's fast, it's furious, it's going to leave squid marks. This is Double Dare. <laughs> We've got Red Team with a little crab-like strategy. Looking like a little red lobster. All right, Red Team is getting down on one knee. Is he proposing to Lauren? We have no idea. Blue Team has nothing in the pen yet. Oh, snap! Red Team! Congratulations, Red Team! You guys are our winner. <laughs> Welcome to Double Dare. And now here's Liza Koshi. Celebrity edition of Double Dare. These teams are led by two of today's hottest content creators, and they're facing a trivia showdown and the world's craziest obstacle course for a chance to earn their super fan teammates a boatload of cash and incredible prizes. What's up? What's going on? I'm your host, Liza Koshi, and joining me is a man who's not just a star in the celebrity universe, he's like his own galaxy. <laughs> the Galileo of game shows. Give it up for the one and only Mark Summer. How are you? Nice to see you. Thank you so much. <laughs> How are you, Lars? How are we doing, Mark? I'm doing good. I don't know if you heard. Did you hear about these two antennas that got married? What? Yeah. They got uh, married? Yeah, the ceremony was boring, but the reception was fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> the reception was fantastic. There you Mark. go. Thank you, Mark, for our dad joke. Classic dad joke to start off the show. But. We gotta meet our teams, Mark. Let's do that. I'm excited about today because we got some YouTube stars. Now, in blue, she has over 15 million followers across social media. She is the lifestyle queen supreme. It's Laura DIY, AKA Lauren. And she is here with her super awesome super fan, Drew. Together, they are Team Laura DIY. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah. There we go. Oh, they just yeah. met, they got a handshake already. This is a guaranteed friendship. <laughs> so, Drew, you've been a fan of Laura DIY for a long time, right? Yeah. Yeah? Long time. What makes you such a fan? Well, she's just so cool, and she's always so organized, and she, like, inspires me to be more, like, crafty. Yeah? Girl, <laughs> she keeping you employed. Today's the day you're going to make her money back, okay? Oh, yeah. It's, mm -hmm. it's, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, of all the things that you've made, Lauren, what's been your favorite thing that you've made so far? Honestly, yeah, like, study tips are always, like, really fun, because in school, that was, like, my struggles, and oh. it's awesome to be able to help girls like Drew. Oh, I'll, she like, knows trivia. Know. She studies. She studies. She studies. <laughs> You got a tip for the kids? Stay in school, kids. Stay in school. Stay in school. Also doing things is our red team. We have a comedian and content creator whose YouTube channel gets over 80 million views a month. You go, Alex Wasabi. It's Alex Wasabi. <laughs> With his super fan and maybe a secret weapon, Arya, say what's up to Team Wasabi. <laughs> Sorry, what, what makes you such a fan of wasabi? The, the food, not him. <laughs> I appreciate a sense of humor because I'm known as the funny one of my friends, and I really, really like watching his videos because, like, they crack me up every single time. Well, good. And they Aww. make me happy. Oh, Alex, what'd you got to say to that? Uh, thank you. I would give you a hug, but you kind of covered me in blue slime earlier. <laughs> so maybe later. <laughs> so, Alex, you are so funny. I'm a big oh. fan. Watch the channel, too. I watch you, too, Lord Yahweh. <laughs> But I've heard um, you've got some good dad jokes. Uh, have you heard about the, the, the new broom? No. What, you what? haven't heard about the new broom? It's everywhere. It's sweeping the nation. Ah! Hey, hey, hey. Oh, let's play yes. some double dare. <laughs> Woo, here we go. All right, guys. So oh. here is how round one works. I'm going to ask you a question. You get it right, you get $50. Now, if you don't know the answer or you think the other team hasn't got a clue, then you can dare them to answer it for double the amount. But be careful, because they can double dare you right back for four times the amount. Then you either have to answer the question or take the physical challenge. You guys got it? Got it. Yeah, they do. All right, so my team Wasabi, you guys are what's up? You won $50 the first challenge, yeah. and right. you guys have control of the game. Here is your first question. What's the name of Miley Cyrus's dad? Oh, they what do we think? Fifty dollars keep you in the lead? Huh? You can say it. You can say it. Yeah, you want me to say it? Say it. Oh, I know say it. it. You said Miley Ray Cyrus. I said Miley. Ray Cyrus. I, 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 oh, Billy Ray Cyrus. There you go. Billy Ray Cyrus is correct. Oh! You got it. Hundred dollars. That's right. how you feel. Boyfriend's in the lead right now. What is that? <laughs> that that's how I feel like you guys were a team. 
Ooh. Oh, look at that. All right, Alex, here's your next question. Tiffy and Mr. Toffee guide players on a sweet adventure in what chart-topping mobile game? Chibi and the beef? What? What is it? Where fifty dollars keep you in the lead? Dare. Oh! Dare! Lauren, what's up, girl? You got this. Tiffy and Mr. Toffee guide players on a sweet adventure in what chart-topping mobile game? Uh, Double Dare. Double Dare it is. Okay. What do we think, Red Team? Okay. What is it? What is, is it? it? It's Candy Rush. Candy Crush. Candy, candy Crush. Candy Crush. Candy Crush. That's what I said. Crush. Crush. That's what I said. The first answer that was said was Candy Rush. No! The correct answer was Candy Crush, which oh. means the $200 went over to okay. Team Lord Yawa. <laughs> All right, Team Lord Yawa is now in the lead and in control. Here is your question. Myotonic goats that fall over when they're startled are commonly called which of these names? Is it fainting goats, screaming goats, or scaredy goats? <laughs> Worth $50, keep you in the lead. Scaredy goats? I'm sorry, scaredy goats is incorrect. No! The correct answer was fainting uh, goats. Right. Oh, seemed right. too obvious, gotta, seemed too obvious. Seemed too obvious. <laughs> and because there was no dare, that means no dollars, but that does mean that Team Wasabi is back in control. Coins in circulation are produced at the United States Mint with locations in Denver and what Pennsylvania city? <laughs> oh, that's it? That's all, there's no options? Okay, um, uh, you know, a dare. Yeah. Dare. Yeah. Now worth $100. Coins in circulation are produced at the United States Mint with locations in Denver and what Pennsylvania city? Um, it's the state of Double Dare. Oh! Double Dare. Now worth $200. What do we think, Team Wasabi? Uh, we we'll think take we'll take the, yeah. we'll take the physical challenge. We're gonna take the physical challenge. Is Philadelphia. It's my adopted hometown. I've actually been to that mint. We have a $200 physical challenge right now. All right. Now, in this physical challenge, one of you will have to swing these balloons over to your teammate, and they'll have to pop it using their head. Mm. Now, one of you will have a very special helmet on your head, and you're going to be popping, okay? Which oh. one of you guys is popping? Oh, she's going to be a popper. You popping on YouTube. She popping here on Double Oh, Day. yeah. That's right. That's oh, right. right. All right. Now, head on over to Eric and get all geared up. Oh, yeah. Give it up for Eric, guys. Give it up. Give it up. Woo! Now, to win the cash, you guys have 30 seconds to pop four balloons, all right? You guys pop four balloons, $200 is yours. Feeling good? Feeling ready? Oh, I'm feeling ready. Go ahead and take your positions, guys. Oh. There we go. There we go. Woo! Thank you, Eric. Aria! Here we go. On your mark. Get set, go! All right, Alex has got the first balloon on our little pendulum. Swing it on down to the baby rhino. Open your rhino, try again. Go, go, go. You got this, girl. Pop it. Really go for it. Hurry up. Swing it, swing it. Pop it. Pop it. Bend your head down. Bend your head down. Boom. Here we go. We got one. 15 seconds left. Here we go. Our second one. We need plenty more. Second one. 10 seconds left. Two more. Two more. Can they do it? Team Wasabi, how you feel? I feel good. I feel like we're back at our rightful place on top. <laughs> I feel slimy. Ooh, Lauren, what you got to say to that? <laughs> Alex, eh, Arya, you killed it. Uh, yeah, she I did. Agree. I agree. Yeah, He's good, did. too. He's good, too. I love that. Well, congratulations, Team Wasabi. You guys are in the lead and in control. Here is your question. Okay. In The Force Awakens and The Last Jedi, the Force is strong with Daisy Ridley's character. What's her name? <gasps> Okay, go, go. Ready. Dare. Dare. Now worth $100 in The Force Awakens and The Last Jedi. The Force is strong with Daisy Ridley's character. What's her name? We're going to go Double Dare. Double Dare. Double Dare. Oh, now we're at $200. We expected that. You don't think Arya knows the answer and we strategized against you? What is it? What is it? What yeah, do you yeah, think, you know. Go ahead. Is it Princess Leia? I'm sorry, that is incorrect. The correct answer was Ray. The correct answer was Ray. She knew it. Who should have said it, girl? Awesome. That's okay. You earned the money anyways. That's right. Two hundred dollars over to Laura DIY. There we go. That was worth more. Oh, and that sound means it's the end of round one. Right now we have Team Laura DIY leading with four hundred dollars on the board. We have Team Wasabi not too far behind with three hundred dollars on the board. 
Uh oh, things are getting pretty interesting in here, aren't they, Mark? Yeah, lots of arguing going on on stage, mm -hmm. but you know what's going to happen when we come back? All the dollar values will be doubled. And uh, do you have a particular favorite going to the up? No, I don't. I'm staying neutral. Nice try there. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure to stay tuned, guys. <laughs> Double the dollars. Now, at the end of this round, the winner gets to keep their bank and move on to the final obstacle course. Now, this toss-up will determine who gets in control of round two. Are y'all ready? Daniel yeah. Mark, I know they are. Get set. Go. Both teams are trying to stick lint ball to a giant lint roller. First team to stick three wins $100 to control of round two. Congratulations, Red yeah. Team. Yeah. 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 Come on back, guys. Put those balls down and come on back. <laughs> Woo. Congratulations, Team Wasabi. The scores are tied now, guys. Team Wasabi with $400 on the board and Team Laura DIY with $400. But remember, we're in round two and everything is worth double from here on out. You got it? Mm-hmm. All right. Woo. In control, Team Wasabi, here is your question for $100. In 1849, what numeric nickname was given to wannabe gold diggers during the California gold rush? Dare. Dare. Dare, now worth $200. In 1849, what numeric nickname was given to wannabe gold diggers during the California gold rush? Double Dare. Double Dare, now worth $400. What do we think, Red Team? Physical take challenge. The physical challenge. They're taking yeah. the physical challenge. Come with me, Team Wasabi. The answer was actually in the question. The answer is the 49ers. We're going to come back with this physical challenge worth $400. All right, y'all, I knew this game was going to get interesante. It's time to break this tie, all right? And destiny is in y'all's hands. They're going to catch these hands because y'all are going to be throwing these frisbees, all right? Now, on go, all you want to do is take these flying discs and knock out all of those takeout boxes. Now, if you guys are able to get them all out in 30 seconds, you guys win $400. Get a head on over there, guys. Okay. Head on over there. Here we you guys go. can oh, take go. out the takeout. Remember the strategy. Yeah. Take out all the boxes in 30 seconds for $400. On your mark, get set, throw! How do we feel? I feel proud because you hit like 90% of those. You did. I hit like one. It's That's okay. <laughs> That's why we're giving Aria the money. Oh, no, yeah. $800 on the board for Team Laura DIY. Here is your $100 question. An interrobang is a combination of an exclamation point and what other punctuation mark? For the $100. There. There, now we're at $200. An interrobang is a combination of an exclamation point and what other punctuation mark? Dare. Double dare. Double dare, sorry. That's right. yeah. Double dare, my bad, my bad. Double dare, now we're at $400. Team Lord AI, what do we think? We'll take the physical, physical challenge. challenge. They're taking the physical challenge. Let's go, come on. Finally. An interrobang is a combination of an exclamation point and a question mark. Don't see that too often. $400 physical challenge. We could have another tie, Liza. All right. Now, this challenge could turn the entire competition, literally. You two will use your heads like a giant screwdriver that Michelle and Eric have over there. You're going to use your heads to loosen giant screws. I feel dizzy already just thinking about it. I feel dizzy. <laughs> Here, head on over there and get geared up. What do we think, audience? Can they do it? <laughs> All right, guys, now that you guys are some cute screws, basically all you want to do is get on up in these screws and turn each one until you get that sweet surprise, all right? 
Come on over here and get your head in the game, literally. There we go, there we go. All right, Eric and Michelle are getting you guys into the right positions. This is a, literally a squat. <laughs> All right, guys, we have two screws for each of you in 30 seconds, all right? If you guys get it, $400 is yours. All right, on your mark, get set, go! Congratulations, guys. Four hundred dollars. Oh, snap. that sound means time's up. Let's check the scores. We have Team Lord DIY with twelve hundred dollars, and Team Wasabi, you guys have four hundred dollars, which means congratulations to Team Lord DIY. They are our winner. Congrats, guys. Y'all get to keep that cash and the slime. And plus, you're headed to the amazing obstacle course. Now, my team Wasabi, you guys did such an amazing, amazing job. And you're not going home empty-handed. We have some amazing prizes for you guys backstage. Oh. Didn't we have fun for team Wasabi? We had some fun with team Wasabi. Now, you guys are ready for the obstacle course, yeah? Yeah, they are. Mark is ready for the obstacle course, too, right, Mark? I'm always ready. We have two ladies running the course today. An audience, do you think they can pull it off eight to 60 seconds? We're going to find out together if they can right after the break. Stay tuned. Welcome on back to Double Dare, where Team Lord DIY has made it all the way to the obstacle course. How are we feeling, ladies? Feeling, feeling good? So good. So excited. So Ladies. good. Now, Drew, in the first two rounds, won $1,200. Now it's time to take on the Double Dare Obstacle Course, because, Drew, there's more for you, girl. Now, up first, we have the one-ton human hamster wheel. You'll want to get in that wheel like a giant hamster or a regular-sized human. Run around as fast as you can. Fill the beaker up with slime all the way up to number six. Glove is going to come down, grab the flag, and you, Drew, are going to grab this box. A Sky Viper drone, advanced GPS streaming video, and return to home function makes Sky Viper perfect for pilots of all levels. All right, next up for you is obstacle two. It's called rip cord. All you need to do is rip the cord, get the slime, grab the flag, you're gonna get this prize. This package of three Rio Grande games, these strategy games encourage family and friends to plan and think rather than rely on luck. All right, next up is obstacle three. Two cute girls, one hot dog. Y'all gonna slide your buns down this one. Release the condiments. It's also gonna release the flag. Grab that, and we're gonna give this to you. A night at Great Wolf Lodge, North America's largest family of indoor water park resorts. Great Wolf Lodge, the family getaway. Next up is obstacle four. It's two rolls for two girls. All you're gonna do is climb through the very first roller, grab the flag down there in the slime, slide through the second one, and you are going to slide into this body. A 43-inch Philips Roku 4000 series LED TV featuring the Roku OS. All right, next up is obstacle five. It's a party, it's a party, it's a blowout. That's what it is. It's a giant party favor. Climb through, slither through the glitter, find the flag, and we're gonna give you this. A trip to the world famous Madame Tussauds Hollywood. Get a one of a kind behind the scenes VIP experience. Next up is six. Oh, I want a piece of this. It's the blue plate special. This one's pretty sweet. It's a cookie. You guys want to flip open the cookie, find the flag, and you, Drew, are going to find yourself with this. Dick's Sporting Goods Shopping Spree. Shop in store or online. Dick's is a one stop shop for sports equipment, apparel, accessories, and footwear. All right, next up is Obstacle 7. It's pick it. All you want to do is pick it. Get all up in that nose, grab some boogers, grab the flag, and you are going to grab this brush. It's a Swagtron electric fat bike. All the fun of a fat tire bike. Boosted by an amazing electric motor, Swagtron, right beyond. All right, next up, it's the great number eight, Mount Saint Double Dare. <laughs> Don't be scared, Daryl. Don't be scared. <laughs> all right, now, all you want to do is climb all the way up to the very top, grab the flag before time expires, and you are going to slide, Drew, into the mountain of prizes that you already have with this. It's a trip to Legoland California Resort, where you can see real sharks raise and fish on their new Lego City Deep City Adventure submarine ride. Good luck, ladies. All right, guys, you've seen the entire obstacle course. So who's taking the first obstacle? Me. Drew DIY yeah. is. Go ahead and get into position, girl. <laughs> Go ahead. Get on in there. Get on in there. Audience, can they do it? 
all eight obstacles in 60 seconds. Let me get 60 seconds on the clock. You guys feeling good? Woo! Yeah. Yeah, you look good, too. All right, Mark is waiting for you guys at the finish line. Good luck, go fast, have fun. On your mark, get set, go! <laughs>